Hello everyone, I am Sankal Parekh. Today I am going to present on point process application in prediction of COVID-19 cases in India. This project is a part of course EC6397, State Space Estimation with Physiological Application. This presentation will include following outlines. First, introduction of point process application in estimation of infectious disease, methods applied for prediction of COVID-19 cases, discussion on obtained results, and possible future direction and conclusions, and references for the same. COVID-19 or coronavirus disease has affected whole world. About 1.8 million confirmed cases has been reported so far. And about 116,000 people died so far due to this disease. And these numbers are surely going to go up in coming weeks. Now let's talk about application of point process in infectious disease forecasting. Infectious diseases are transmitted due to direct contact between an infectious person and a susceptible person. So number of person infected by a single individual can be characterized as a counting process. Prediction model can be really helpful for any nation, state or institute to be prepared for the dire circumstances ahead. For example, if any nation can predict number of people getting affected in coming weeks, they can be well prepared to equip their medical treatment facilities accordingly. Publicly available data can be really helpful to predict the number of cases in the future. For this project, SIR model is used, that is susceptible infectious and recovered model. This model is able to measure transmit of disease from human to human. According to this model, number of people infected follows a Poisson distribution. The equation of expected value, that is lambda, is as shown in the slide. Here D is number of days person is contagious, I0 is number of infected individual entering the population, IT is number of confirmed cases, lambda is expected value, RE is a constant and T is number of days since start of outbreak. Constant RE is calculated using maximum likelihood estimation and plugged in the equation of expected value that is lambda. For the calculation of prediction of COVID-19 cases for this pro project, following terms are considered. If any individual comes in contact of COVID-19 patient, there is 85% chances that infection will pass on. Any individual is considered to be contagious for 14 days since day of infection. And as it is an outbreak, we are assuming that there is no vaccine or medicine is available to counter or stop the infection. A prediction of COVID-19 cases using weekly confirmed cases data available for the country India is as shown in graph. So the blue line is actual cases of infection reported and red is predicted using SIR model. So as we can see on 6th April, the actual cases and predicted cases is very close. And on the basis of data available till 6th April, according to the SIR model, the number of cases on 13th April is as shown in graph, that is 17,400. To validate the working of the model, prediction of known number of cases is done using data till 30th March. And the prediction for the 6th April as shown in graph 
by red line is 4330 and the actual number of cases reported on 6th April is 4778 which is very close. This graph shows prediction of COVID-19 using daily confirmed cases data available for India. And as we can see on 6th April, the prediction curve and the actual data curve is very close. And on the basis of data available till 6th April, number of cases on 7th April is predicted and that is 5,884. Possible improvement would be a total state lockdown was announced and international as well as interstate mobility is reduced in month of April in India. So an improvement would be an intensity function that takes such account in measure that will give a more refined prediction model. Here are my references. And Thank you very much.